Hello YouTube and welcome to the fourth episode of 3D printing shoes. Today I will start again completely from scratch to design and print the final version of the shoe. I've got new filament and I've also got this shoe as a reference. I'm excited so let's get started. Just as last time I began with drawing the outline of my foot. Then I drawed straight lines in it to measure the whole thing. Then I copied it to Fusion 360. Here you can see how I made from the sketch the actual sole. The sole is in the front exactly 5mm thick. In the back it's 10mm thick. The profile is 19mm because that's the thickness of my painter's tape. From there to there, 19mm. The print profile for the same smart filament you can just scan and apply to Cura. Here you can see my Cura profile for the print. And here you can see how the print should look like. As you can see, there's a lot of potential for stringing. I hope the stringing isn't that bad. As you can see, the print should take 16 hours and 12 minutes. But in the end, it should be about 15 hours. With the right settings, it's now time to print. And yeah, in the end, it really took about 15 hours. As you can see, the print has finished. Let's get it off. So, let's try it. Print goes off better than the last times. Let's shoot. But as you can see, it's a bit harder, but it seems way better. But as you can see, there's a lot of stringing going on here. Let's get it off. As you can see, I cleaned up the shoe. Not everything, but it looked better than before. As you can also see about here, the shoe isn't as clean as the other ones. That might be because of the heat that was a bit too high and that's because of a different filament I used. In general, this filament, the Saint Smart filament, is a bit harder and I hope stronger, but here maybe you can't really push it together, so it's really strong but still bendable. But now to the big question, does it fit? What do you think? Will it fit? Let's try it out. As you can see, it does. But if you don't step on it with enough pressure, there's a little bit of a gap between it. But you, if you step on it with enough pressure, it looks better. The one part that's missing now is the web around thing. So let's make that. Yeah, as you can see, I wrapped around painter's tape around my foot again but this time i put on a sock to hopefully be able to cut from here to here not at last time at the side and with that i hopefully get a better sketch and then i will copy it to fusion 360. after quite some time i finally got it off it was way harder than i thought so if you want to try it don't do it with your sock then I tried to clean it up with redrawing the lines. Shortly after I started printing, I noticed I forgot something. To curve the edges, and that's important, so I had to print it again. At the next print, the filament jammed, and that's not good either, so I had to print again. Hey guys, on the third try, the print finally worked. And now, I just have to get it off and mount it on the shoe. And then, there's just one thing left to do. You know it, and so am I. So let's get walking.
Hey guys, I now walked about one kilometer, so let's see how the shoe is going. First of all, I have to say that the grip uh, is going a bit loose, so because um, that whole thing is moving a bit in the front, which isn't super good, but uh, definitely okay. The second thing is that you hardly can tighten it at all with the shoe lashes, but let's see if there is any damage at the shoe. Um, I personally can't see anything, but I think it feels like it's getting a bit softer, but maybe that isn't true, but it feels like as it got a little bit softer, but in general, I tap that so it holds in place. It looks quite good. So there isn't any breaks or something. You can see that here. It's soft, but there is no breaks at all or something like that. So let's walk another few kilometers. Hello guys, before I'm back home, I want to show you this. As you can see, the shoe lashes going behind my foot and are noted here. This way, the shoe isn't getting loose by itself. Pretty cool, I think. Hello guys, I'm back. I'm back with fully functioning 3D printed shoes. As you can see, there's no damage or anything like that on the shoes. I now walked around 6000 steps with it, which is quite a lot, more than with the others. And they still function and don't have any damage at all. You barely can even feel them while you are walking. The only thing you would feel is the shoe lashes on the back on your shoe but it doesn't hurt, Is you can just feel them. So what can I say in general about 3D printing shoes? It's not for everyone. It took me 4 tries to get 3D printed shoes that are working. But for me it was kind of a success and I like them. They are pretty cool, but it's not for everyone. You need a printer that's big enough and you should have relatively small foot, which I don't have, but they barely fit on the printer, but they do somehow, which is good, because so I can print them, but maybe if you have bigger foots or a smaller printer or both, then you shouldn't do it. And also if you have big foots, it's more expensive and it takes more time. But I hope you don't need four tries if you don't do it yourself, because I did it, so maybe you don't have to. I hope you liked this episode, this video episodes of 3D printing shoes and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.